Hello students, I am back again with a new video. I welcome you all in the e-learning class of mathematics. Today in this video, I shall explain you about the sums of exercise 3e. Exercise 3e is based on word problems. Okay, so let's start. Chapter 3 addition, word problems. Exercise 3e is based on word problems on addition. Okay, so let's start. Number one question is, in a football match, the attendance on Saturday was 4,397. On Sunday, the attendance was 3,958. In all, how many people watched this match on these two days? Okay, students, according to the question, there was a football match. On Saturday, 4,397 people watched the match. On Sunday... 3958 people watched the football match so total how many people watched the football match in these two days we need to calculate so what we have to do we have to add both the number okay so let us write the statement first we can write the statement as number of people watch the match on saturday it is 4,397. Number of people watched the match on Sunday. That is 3,958. Therefore, total number of people watched this match on these two days. So, let us add to find out the total number of people watched the football match on these two days. Okay. So, we will start our addition from the right side. So, 7 plus 8 is 15. We will write 5 here, carry 1, 9 plus 5, 14, 14 plus 1, it's 15, we will write 5 again, carry 1, 3 plus 9, 12, 12 plus 1, 13, so we will write 3 and carry 1, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 1, 8. So 8,355 people watched the football match on these two days, okay? Next question. In his daughter's marriage, Mr. Kapoor spent rupees 2039 on decoration. Okay. Rupees 725 on crockery and lighting. And rupees 6720 on food. How much did he spend on these items? Okay. So, Mr. Kapoor spent some amount on his daughter's marriage. That is rupees 2039 on decoration. 725 rupees on crockery and lighting and 6720 rupees on food. So, what was the total amount of money he spent in all? We need to calculate. To find the total amount of money spent in all, we need to add these three numbers. Okay. So, we can write the statement as amount of money spent on decoration. Rupees 2039. Amount of money Spent on crockery and lighting is rupees 725. Amount of money spent on food that is rupees 6720. Now let us add these three number to find the amount of money spent in all. Okay. So 9 plus 5, 14, 14 plus 0, 14. So we will write 4 and carry 1. Okay. 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 plus 1, it's 8. 0 plus 7, 7, 7 plus 7, 14. We will write 4 and then carry 1. 2 plus 6, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. Okay, it's 9,484 rupees spent in 1. Okay, so in case of students, money, we can write the statement starting with amount of. Okay, now next question a baker sales. 5,319 muffins and he has 2,783 muffins still left. So, how many muffins did he have at first? So, baker sales 5,398 muffins. Okay, after selling 2,783 is still left with him. So, how many muffins were there in the beginning? We need to add these two numbers. Okay. So, we can write the statement as number of muffins a baker sales is 5,398. 
number of muffins still left with him. It is 2783. Therefore, total number of muffins he have at first. So, let us add 8 plus 3, it's 11. Carry 1, 9 plus 8, 17. 17 plus 1, it's 18. Again, carry 1. 3 plus 7, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. Let us write 1 here and carry 1 again. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 1. So, total number of muffins you have at first was 8181. I think this much is clear to you student. So, now we will come with a new video. Thank you so much.